Finally, sir, at one point in the film, Rafe finds, offers the idea that in the colonies, in the British Empire, the idea really wasn't about different countries and peoples and borders. They were striving for something beyond all that. They were striving for the progress of society, and people at that time believed in civilization, furthering civilization, and Ray finds his claim is that both the British of the British Empire and the other peoples under their hegemony all together were striving together for something beyond, as I say, different countries, different peoples, borders, striving for the progress of civilization. However, when Rafe Fiennes and Kristen Scott Thomas begin their affair, one of the conversations they have, Kristen Scott Thomas asks Rafe Fiennes what he fears or what he hates, something like that, and he says, ownership. He hates the idea of being owned by someone or of owning somebody else. However, once the affair has run its course and she's gone back to Colin Firth, he then refers to Kristen Scott Thomas as his property, I believe betraying his true imperialist intent, sir. Yeah, that's true. Bourgeois private property represents our collapse into a system based on class enmity, on the oppression of the many by the few. So the cornerstone of the capitalist imperialist system is the enslavement of the workers by the bourgeoisie. Mm. You see, the post-feudalists forget that they exploited the workers as well, but under different circumstances and conditions. Circumstances and conditions that are now antiquated. Mm. This fraudulent history reveals to us that the modern proletariat did not exist in their feudal systems. Indeed, as the bourgeoisie emerged from the ruins of feudalism, they themselves begat the proletarian class. Yeah. So the Americans forget that the bourgeoisie of today is the inevitable outcome of capitalist imperialist society as it progressed out of feudalism. Yes, sir. Yes, and clearly, that's what the English patient is all about. Once again, you have enlightened us. We take our leave edified with greater wisdom than at the outset. You have empowered us, sir to forge ahead upon the road of revolution.